on that, guys. I've been just real busy today. Okay, we're going to get right started right away. Let's load game. Uh, I guess the auto save was fine. I think we're good on the auto save. I oh, no, I should have continued, actually. That was a bad idea. That was actually a bad idea. Bad idea. Good idea. This is a eh, idea. Yeah, let me put my phone there so I can check chat. Easier, because I don't have that set up, of course. Alrighty then. Bum, ba -dum, bum, ba -dum, bum. Alrighty. More edge of garbage. I mean, eternity. More edge of eternity. More garbage eternity. No, I'm joking. This game's actually really good. I don't I like playing games from indie developers, so and this is an indie game. They've done a really good job. I don't know how big the studio of this game is, but it really does take me back. It feels kind of like the old school uh like Final Fantasy games a little bit. All right, hopefully everyone's having a, an amazing Tuesday, though. I'm having a pretty good Tuesday. I've been really busy up and down. Ooh, talk to my... Oh, hold on. Actually, I need to... Hold on. Okay, I've been talking to the person that's been... The artist that's been making my emotes. And they're almost ready. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. Okay, so where are we right now? We've got to go look around and we've got a whole bunch of other stuff going on. So let's go back to the entrance here and talk to some of these people. Ooh, cute. Ooh, I like that blue. I look, that blue is fabulous. It's fabulous. Ooh. Anyways. That blue is fabulous. All right, there we go. so we're at the okay so we're at the center of the town here um the woman um i don't know if that's a woman but okay whatever it is what it is after what happened in arcadia the ciphers the ciphers by the next in line you'll see Um, okay. I mean, whatever, it's 2020, whatever, it's 2022. If you say that's a woman, that's a woman. All right. Oh, here we go. Go to the war and get mauled by invaders or stay here and catch the corrosion. I don't know which is worse. Oh, is this going to be a cutscene? Oh, cutscene time. What am I gonna do with you? Oh, whatever you do, be quick. Because I'll be gone in the next three days, remember? Of course I remember, you oaf. Yeah, well, I appreciate you leaving me some space on the matter. Hey, you there, with the Templar. You're some kind of mercenary, aren't you? I bet you say that to everyone with a big sword on their back. How does winning a hundred Harry's Hey Harry's sound to you? It would sound good to anyone, ma'am. Good to see that you're worth this pile of hair besides me. Mom, what do you intend to wait? What do you intend to do? Oh gods, please no. Turns out he didn't wait to be drafted into the army. He actually volunteered. Like I said, Mom, I have a plan and it's fireproof. Yeah, all right, you'll be, you'll bite the big one on your first day. If your mom doesn't do something for you, that is. Didn't you listen? I said I had an all right plan. 
You two will train my son and so he'll come back alive from whatever hellhole they'll be sending him to. You'll take him with you for the next three days, teach him everything he needs to survive. Honor Henry's deal. I mean, why not? Okay, we'll take this kid with us. Can't perform, can't perform miracles, but I'll give him some pointers. Hear that, Nugget? Don't call me that in front of the strangers. Let's go, Nugget. Don't call me that. <laughs> I've I've made some arrangements with the monster trader. Go find him. He's on the other side of the city. <clears throat> the boy's mom told me. So you're here to train this here lad, huh? You got that right. Well, those mean beans, mean beans. Who says that in a fucking sentence? Well, those mean beans behind me ain't their fifth tamer this month. They don't even bother to chew to shoe anymore. If you intend to fight them, consider yourself warned. Oh. Oh. I'm just gonna kill them? Does this guy actually have any powers? Okay, um... Hey, what am I attacking here? Is it just this one beast, or am I fighting more? Okay, let's fight him. Okay, come on, Icicle Strike. Okay, I think he's resistant. Yeah, I think they're resistant to that. Okay, so... Okay, he missed. Yeah, just attack me. Okay, Selene, I need you to get Earth Rift. That'd be nice. Okay, we're gonna just do a normal attack on him, see if that works. Oh, that actually worked, okay. I thought this was like some badass. Okay, what's he gonna do? Can't even do anything. Okay, we'll skip your turn, dude. That was an easy victory. Those are upgraded, so that's really good. Hmm. Got it. If you're outmatched, take cover. If it's compatible with the master plan, yeah, I'll do that. Keep referring to a certain plan. What is that? No, -uh, sorry guys, it's a secret. Let's resume the rest of the training. The next, the next ones are even more dangerous. Be prepared. Kill an enemy once Oh, I thought that he spoke. Okay. Um. We got here. Okay, let's see if we can icicle strike this enemy. No, okay, they're obviously immune to that. Okay. I'm kind of an idiot, you know? Okay, we missed. Okay, Mer they miss on the first strike, so... Earth Rift. There we go. He doesn't even have any weapons. What am I supposed to do with him? Okay, we'll do a normal attack. Oh, I have the Orco Trap, too, but I don't think that's gonna really do anything. Okay, that's not too much damage, actually. You know, I'm going to move him behind here. A prayer for your wayward soul. Yeah, and... Bam. Okay, there we go. And final strike here. Hiya! There we go. And he's dead. Whoa, I'm getting so ripped. It's almost frightening. Having such power, it's probably too much of a responsibility. I knew dockers who quit their job for that reason couldn't handle their own burliness. I can totally relate, but you know, I'm like, from a different mold. I'm no quitter. Stop, stop teasing him, Darian. Right. 
let's keep at it. And for the next, we'll just say that you have my sympathy. Oh, really now? Follow my lead and we'll get through this. From attacks from behind. Like, how am I supposed to get behind? What is that, a tongue? Okay, we're gonna icicle strike. Because we know that, I don't know if this one's, yeah. Okay, so they're kind of resistant to it, not really. Okay, uh, my Earth Rift, yeah, Earth Rift can go there. Okay, and we'll attack here. Okay. Um, we'll just skip your turn, my dude. That was pretty easy. Uh, I don't know what happened there, but okay. We won! You go! Oh, we got a lot of XP. Oh, we got another gemstone. Okay. Noise. You best be. Uh, you, you are beginning to hold your own, Nugget. I could do it even in my. I could do it even in my sleep. I could do it even. No. In my sleep now. Let's keep them coming. No need. I think you're ready. Let's go back to your mother. Come back later, we'll set things up. So, Nugget, here we are. By the way, my name's Nicholas. Say, why did you enlist? I'm sure you still had time before your draft. It's my, it's my mommy. She's uh, spent an arm and a leg on some kind of false hope. She's nuts. Every morning she counts the days remaining before my 18th. So maybe the war will end before you have to go there. And the war... Got your father, but it won't get you. The weight is slowly driving her insane, so I thought I'd end it. Better for both of us. That's the master plan you've been talking about. Yeah, and I'll get some older friends. But I've got some older friends who are getting drafted. If I volunteer now, chances are they'll send us to the same place. And we'll be able to look out for each other. Against all expectation, this plan is not at all bad. You just might have a chance of surviving Nicholas. Yeah, I, I have proof. I told you. Okay. Profit staff, okay, so we got a new staff. Okay, um Team Energy's kinda going down, but Okay, we should probably spend I don't know what we have here in terms of like equipment. Like he's all like got equipment. He's all equipped out. Equipped it out. Um But Celine isn't so we probably need to see about getting her some some stuff here if there's a I wonder if there's anything we can cra is this a crafting zone what is this oh okay we can turn these in Hey, let me see at level 14. We got some gold out of that. Okay, let's accept these. Okay. So, what is this? Does that do anything? We can merge? Oh my, this is interesting. Oh my, okay. Let's see what the people have here to buy. Can't even make any of these fabric. Oh, that was a dorsal tongue. That would have been nice. Oh dear. Okay, well, we can't. I don't think we can make anything there. What is this? Okay. 
He's not a weapons guy. Is this our weapons guy or weapons person? Oh, wow. We can buy. Wow, that's really expensive, though. Hmm. Okay. Sorry about that. I had to talk about stupid stuff. You two, a minute of your time, please. Then be quick. We have little time to spare. It'll be short, I promise. Have you seen a dinier? A dunier? Dunier around these parts? Yeah, we've seen a lot of them, actually. The one that we're seeking is different than most. Sporting a single horn among its antlers. And his mane... And his mane, Rajon, don't forget his mane. Of course, sir. His mane shines brightly in the moonlight. You would be able to miss it even if you wanted to. I would never forget it, never forget how magnificent it was. He looks like an older guy, or maybe female, I don't know. And I want it dead. I want that denier dead. Kill it and bring it back. It's horn. Oh, priestess. Oh, oh, priestess. Oopsie. Oh, wow. Well, uh, you know, we already have the voice. Priestess, you cannot refuse me this. You cannot deny me salvation. Please save the soul from this dying old man. A moment, old man. Oh, he is an old man. Pre oh, is that okay? We have not seen the, de we have not seen the denier you seek, and we have no time to go big game hunting. I don't, under I don't understand. Why is this fate of this beast entangled with your own? Thirty years ago, the denier it killed, and it and my son he. Don't let yourself be overwhelmed by emotion, my lord. You know the anger makes you the, the worst of your condition. Allow me to continue. Thirty years ago, a denier interrupted, in interrupt in interrupt er, erupted into my master's domain. In but a moment, he threw himself at a young man who had just completed his coming of age ceremony and pierced him with his horn. Then, just as quickly as it came, it disappeared, leaving behind this lifeless body of his master's only heir. We have scoured the world year after year to track it down, to no available fail until now. We know that this denier is prowling around Elslore. Why do you want its horn? A token of its demise, and... I need it. I need it. That is all you need to know. 
let's see. Let's leave it at that. So, <coughs> would you do it? If by chance we were to find them peace on our travels, then we'll answer your plight. There is also a monetary reward if there is any incentive for you to reconsider your doubtless busy schedule. Also, all of the hunters in the region may have valuable information on the beast's whereabouts, provided they are willing to cooperate, of course. Because we want to kill a big old beast. I think we've actually seen it. This cannot, this cannot be right. This can't be an Uralk. Uralk? What is an Uralk? A mythical beast presumably anointed by the gods tasked with bringing their wisdom to the people of Hirion. But they disappeared centuries. We've actually seen one of these. Any chance the old man's story is made up? I don't know. He seems pretty serious, but the part about his son is making me uneasy. Why? The Urax have been known to occasionally kill young men on the day they come of age. Apparently, they were gifted with foresight, but one, but one gaze they could determine the future of a person. And they would use that gift for one purpose and one purpose only. To find people who would commit horrible crimes and terrible atrocities. And kill them before they reach their moment of, in, of their lives. In order to prevent those atrocities from happening, right? Exactly. So this son of that old man was becoming a murderer or something like that? Maybe even worse. But killing someone who is still innocent at the moment of their life, I don't know how I feel about that. Mm. Okay, so we're going to have to kill one of those. That shouldn't be, like, too hard. Um, okay, well, we'll... Alright, let's go see what's over here. There was a place full of... Joy and happiness in my heart, and I owed it to my daughter. Since her departure to the front lines, it has been replaced by a ravenous beast tearing my guts away. Okay. Um. There's an outpost a few clicks north. Used to watch over the roads. Okay, we have the gem cutter. We have the stone blade. What do we have on us right now? We have the stone cutter. We have the... Oh, we have this. We have a stone blade. The other is a shield that cancels the next attack. So, I wonder what that is. The gem cutter. So I'm thinking, yeah, the stone blade's better. Soul staff, rock burst, draconic series. Okay. Ooh. What does she have? Was that does she have the prophet? What does she have staff wise? She has the seer staff, so she doesn't even have Wait, my game. Okay. So she just has a seer staff. She doesn't even have. Okay, let's see what. Seventeen. So this would be better than. Oh, we need the shamanic staff to create this. We need. Do we need one more Duner's bone? Veneer's bow, and I wonder if we can... Okay, so we'd have to create that, and then the prof... Okay. We might go have to go get that eventually. Um, unless we can find... Okay. 
Okay, um... Just, okay, let's see what we can get these guys here. What does Darien have? Well, he has everything. So Celine needs a head, pants, head, pants, boots. Let's see if we can get our head, pants, and boots here. So head. Cloth hood. Okay, head. Head, yeah, let's see if we can... Head. Pants. And what do we say? Boots? And we want boots as well. This isn't even that good, okay. We need... Wait, didn't he just have boots? Oh, yeah. Oh, we can sell that, okay. Okay. And then we give her some boots, too. Okay, there we go. Okay, so she should be a little more powerful. Um, let's see if this guy has one more denier bone. Oh no, this guy probably doesn't. Um, let's see if maybe she does. She has a denier bone. Okay. Let's see if we can't craft her those staves now. Get her some better staves. Stone cutter. We don't have the stone cutter. We don't have what we have. We don't have the stone cutter anymore. Wait, what do we have? Like, I don't even know. Do we have stone cutter? Stone cutter. The same as the... So we do have that. If stone cutter, you know, we have it. Can I make it better? One of one, yeah, we have, okay, so we have one of one, but I think, what not? Okay, so. It really gives a shield that does the next attack. Who attack? Fleet oh, level ten. Hmm. I think we just keep what we have until we know. Well, we can unlock the next recipes, maybe.
here to prove your metal, huh? After a closer look, probably not. That claymore on your back is probably just for show, I'd say. Don't take it the wrong way, old man, but you're not really the type I'd like to impress. Whoa, this one's got some kick on his tongue. Sure, you're not here to test some of my swords. Guess not, not with those scrawny shoulders of yours. You're going senile, Gramps. You should start making sense if you want this conversation to go anywhere. By the dead gods! You got a thinker over here. He wants the whole story. Then listen, thinker. I'm trying a new ally for my weapons. For our boys to use against the Archolites back there. A sort of Arcadian steel tempered with a bit of crystal that's supposed to give it some magical properties. And I need to know... And all I need to know is how it withstands long-term damage. Its enchantment is volatile, and I wouldn't want it to evaporate after one or two blows. The thing is, the, the volunteers I keep in the mission are pathetic excuses for warriors for the life of them. They can't just seem to wear the blade out. They're probably not even trying, though. They happen to knock a couple of wolves out, and they believe they're some kind of legendary swordsman. I need someone who will take this blade out for a sp spin and shower. And a shower and not in spring water if you catch my drift. This baby needs violence. Ooh, then you come to the right place. We're all about violence on this channel. And like napping and stuff like that. It's supposed to be like an active like YouTuber. We don't need none of that here anymore. Take how much. If I ever get like an actual like design, I'm just going to be like a sleepy YouTuber. I'm just going to redesign myself. Because, I mean, I like, like, the hot sun and all that, but, like, I don't know, I'm, 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 uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm, con I'm very, um, confused or, uh, not confused, God. I'm torn between being the sleepy, nappy VTuber and, like, the active. I am coronavirus, man. Like, I don't even want to go out and do anything anymore. Anyways. Find some tough enemy to slay or slaughter, oracles by the thousands. I just want that blade worn out by the time you come back to me, and it's magic depleted. And what do I get out of this? A thank you, maybe, or even better, a cup of tea? I'm the best blacksmith there is, kid, and I'll let that feisty brain of yours imagine what it's like to be in my good graces. So, interested, wimp? Yeah, okay, we get a badass sword out of it. Give me that blade. And don't cry when you see what I've made of it. Hey, I'm not the blind girlfriend you left at the... I'm not the blind girlfriend you left in your backwater village, champ. I need more than empty promises. How does he know about that? How does he know about that blind girlfriend? God damn it. That... Oh my god. Anyways, that's a whole other story. Adian Steel Sword. Oh, baby. Let's equip this bad boy. Ooh, okay. Nah. Okay. Oh, we don't have any of that. Uh... Hey, we gotta talk to people around here. Veteran. Things haven't changed much here, I see. Here, Slian. Still completely cut off from the world. Fancy the war, some distant worry, barely worth the consort's time. Ooh, this guy looks important. This is probably the guy we're looking for. Here. Alfer Alfarius. Talk to Myrna. She has ears everywhere. She lives in a gauntly tent with garnished colors. All the tracks of stupid youngsters grinning like idiots, and he'll eventually get there. So, what's next? Finding Lady Myrna, so it seems. From what I heard, she's a renowned soul searcher. A soul searcher? Oh, for the dead gods' sake! Is there a problem? Can't stand them. Con men and women preying on people gullible enough to believe them. Well, I don't hate them. Don't tell me you're actually buying their hogwash. I don't. But at the very least, I find it entertaining. 
Great. You'll do the talking then. Can't talk. Eating muscles. Okay. Our team energy's kind of low. You know what? Let's just. What? Like, it doesn't tell you like what time it is now. 9 a.m. I guess. We'll wake up bright and early at 9. Oh, yeah, okay, so I think we've got some uh, cutscenes here. So, what's our lead on the, to the cure? A senile old man whose best friends are flowers. Very funny now. Not joking, my contact is a former Sanctorum master. Alfarius. Alfarius. And one of his most notorious pastimes involves talking to flowers. And now you're just pulling my leg. But that's what I. But that was before he got expelled from the Sanctorum for heresy. Huh. I wonder if he has made any real friends since we departed. Anyways, it's a long story. You'll see when you meet him. I'll just pretend I didn't hear anything but the name Alfarius and the fact that he's your master. <coughs> I never lie, Darian. Except when you're joking. I'm never joking. <clears throat> okay, let's do helping policy. I wish these were actual cutscenes, to be honest. I just feel like these are extras. Maybe we should talk, Celine. About what? About our helping policy. We'll be traveling a lot and meeting a lot of people. Some of them will need our help. I know you are... That you are... I know how you are. You will want to help them. And you won't? Of course I want to help them. But Mother is sick. Her days are numbered. You said it yourself. With the care she's receiving, we should be okay for some time. I don't want to make her wait any longer than she has to. So... Are you saying that if someone's in danger, we should just stop to help? We shouldn't stop and help? My man, I'm fully botching all this. No, that's not what I'm saying either. It's just that we should pick our fights, right? Maybe we should judge our involvement on a case-by-case -case basis. You should know that if we do that, we'll still end up helping everyone we meet. I hear you. Can I suggest setting some ground rules then? Maybe. I think we should only help people in immediate danger. Like, threaten my monsters? Yeah, for instance. What about people on the verge of starvation? Do you consider them to be in immediate danger? Well, yes and no, but we can't. What if we crossed a hungry child or an orphan? We'll help them, of course. And an adult... Adults can fend for themselves. Mostly, so no. And if the adult is... Oh my god. And if the adult is crippled and cannot cater to their own needs, then we should help them. Oh my god. Woman, you're killing us. You're killing us. But what if this adult we're talking about has some kind of injury? Who, though a misplaced sense of pride, tries to hide it from us? It. Don't say it never happens. But if we go down that road, we'll still end up helping everyone along the way. Oh, what do you suggest then? Uh, we just judge on a case by case basis. Great! I knew you'd do that. Yeah. Alright, we'll sleep now. Okay. So now we just gotta search. Uh, 
Um, if what she, if what she, if what she said is true, there's going, it's going to be so great. I will make sure to come back from this war. My heart's acting up. Hey, it's not every day you learn about your future. I don't usually believe in the seers and fortune tellers, but this Myrna was Avar's top advisor before settling in Hellslore. There's got to be something to that. My turn soon. My turn. My turn. My turn. Oh. Okay, we're cutting the line here. We don't. We got time for this. We got a really badass sword. I'm gonna be honest. Hopefully, this is a cutscene. I don't have to act this out. I am trying to do like what do you call it? I'm trying to voice act this. I know who you are here for. Your elusive master, Alfarius. That is correct. Oh, I got the name right. Sit down. First things first. Let me decipher your spirit. Oh sh you, Priestess. Oh, is little light to shed on your soul. No shadows within yeah. you. You're a setting sun, a perfect orb of searing. Oh, she's pretty cute. The path ahead. Yeah, exactly. Get over. Recognize your soul would be as pointless as looking for shadows among the flame. Maybe. But for the young man painfully dragging himself at your side, it's another story. Oh, is it now? A story worth telling. Uh, no, please, no. Sit, boy. Oh. There are plenty of shadows to go about in your tormented mind. Let me approach these unwanted zephyrs. Yeah, no, I'll keep my thoughts to myself if you don't mind. We're here for Alfarius. Do you know where he is? For me to answer such a straightforward <sighs> question would be an insult to the grand, ever changing order. Life cares little for simplicity, and truth seldom reveals itself to such tedious inquiries. Like a worm, you have to ride your way through darkness to find it. If you want me to reveal Alfarius's whereabouts, you will have to let me scrutinize your soul first. That's what I figured. You soul-searching people just love hearing yourselves prattle on about the lives of others. No need to be so rude, Darian. If she can really read my soul, then the way I talk will soon be the last of her woes. I can tell you that. <laughs> my, you're a lively one. It will be enjoyable, indeed. So, sit. No getting out of this, is there? Keep in mind, I'm not like the wide-eyed teenagers that come asking you for advice, Myrna. The war is behind me, and there's little innocence left in me for you to exploit. Know that for my prediction, I need a small part of your essence. Oh. But a tiny fragment. I like where this is going. It's customary for soul searchers to ask you for a part of your soul before they predict your future. It's only for show, though. They don't actually take anything from you. Maybe Myrna just wants you to voice your consent. Seriously? Yeah, yeah, okay. Take a part of my soul if you want. Be my guest. Just don't go complaining afterwards. Come, forsaken shard of destiny! Come, pledge of days long past! Let this carmine crystal be your new home! Is that it? All right, you can go through your usual routine now. Ooh, ah, I'm sensing something. Great destiny ahead. Then, ah, the light on your crystal goes off. It's the first time it happens to you. Then you tell me, I can't see it. I can't see your destiny. I don't understand. The star shines over your fate, young man. But I can't see what it is. But it is a great one indeed. There, I just did it for you. Just let her focus. I see. It seems you are wounded, young man. 
beaten but unyielding, torn yet still whole. Pride is your crutch, justice your path. You've been walking on the edge for some time now, unsure whether to take the leap. Your path will take you up hills and down vales, but always the edge alongside. Of these happenings, you're the unwilling actor. You long for nothing but peace. You are trusting the path to take you where you must, looking for an omen to help you make your choice. Yet... That's enough! I let you have your fun, play out your little performance. Now, tell us where we can find Alfarius. So impatient to meet your fate. I just told you that your trip will take you to many strange places. One of these is a vale not too far from here. In its crucible, a handful of people lost the whole lot, lot of them. And my game crashed. One second. <sighs> game's getting off to a good start already, isn't it? Oof. Um, yeah, so that's actually kind of weird. Because I don't know if it's saved or not. And we might have to do... Hopefully it auto-saved. Oh my god, if that didn't, I'm going to be so mad and we're never playing this game ever again. Oh, well, we'll see. Will I play this game again, or will it be shelved forever? Oh, we're about to find out. I swear to god. Okay, I think we're good now. Are we good? We good? Okay, I think we're good. I see this is an indie game. Yep, yep. <laughs> We can't really, you know, blame it, but oh god, okay, well, we're gonna continue and hope that it like auto save before that cutscene. As if not, we are kind, kind of screwed. Screwed. All right, I gotta let my cat out real quick. Come on. Don't be a garbage snake. I came out of nowhere. All right. Here we are once again at the edge of eternity. At the end of an age. Okay, come on. Old screen's killing me. You're killing me. No. I was going to play Mass Effect Legendary Edition today, but I decided really against it. I don't know. Um, Maybe we'll play some more of that. Tomorrow we'll be playing AI The Somnium Files. So that'll be really good. We're going to go down another path, I think. Yeah, because I think we ended the stream because we're doing a path each week, so we're coming close to the end of that game, so. <gasps> oh, no. How much of that did we... Oh, no. Oh, no. So what are we... Oh my god, what quests do we have? We even get... Celine her things? So Celine didn't get her 
Oh no, when did we autosave last? Yeah, the last year. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna go do this cutscene and then we'll give her some stuff. I don't know where there's a save point. There's like not a save point around here. Oh, okay, we're gonna go do this. Oh, we can't do the cutscene yet. Okay, because we gotta go talk to this guy over here. First. Okay, we're gonna do the cutscene. I'm gonna just skip through most of it. Hope our game. If a game crashes again, we're gonna play something else. Okay. So, what's finding Lady Mary? From what I heard, a soul sir? Is there. Can't, well, I don't. Talk to. I don't. Great. Okay. Let's go here. Okay. Hopefully this game doesn't crash again in the cutscene. There's like no save points though. Like I don't know what to do. There's no save point in the city. Hmm. That's really an oversight. Oh no, can I not skip this? I don't really want to skip the whole cutscene, but... I'm surprised, Darius. Okay. You didn't even argue with her when she tasked us with finding this cauldron. That's because I know him. Uh, at least, if he's the one I'm thinking of. Who is he? A fellow soldier, and a good man. We both served in the same company. If he's a prisoner, that means... He's probably a deserter, just like you. Probably. Mm. I understand why you accepted so readily. If he's a deserter, though, that means his captors might be fellow soldiers. If possible, I'd like to avoid harming them. We will find a way to free Calder without violence. Calder, a fellow brother in arms. I really wonder if it's merely a coincidence. Of course it is. She's no seer. But... She's good at flapping her gums. I'll give her that. Okay. So, I think we're about done here. In scene unlocked. Yeah, footsteps on the floor. Okay. So, yeah, like we did, we went to bed and it didn't. Okay, we're going to skip through this. Give me that blade, yeah. Okay, we already took the blade. Um, we'll take the blade again. And we'll take the Acadian steel sword. No. Okay. Then I'm gonna go grab what she needs here. Okay, we need pants, boots, and I think cloth. Yep, okay. That meant. Okay. All we need for now, and then, okay. We should probably sleep as well. Sleep only. Um, yeah, whatever. And then I'm gonna have to go through all these cutscenes again. All this talking, because we didn't... Oh. Okay, we gotta go through this. Skip cutscenes. We've already I've already seen this. 
Oh my god, we have a lot of scenes to cover here. Oh, okay. I didn't see that. Okay, everyone. Oh my god, okay. We're gonna skip this one. I want to save before I do any of these other ones. Okay, we're gonna sleep. Yeah, we're gonna... We're, we're gonna do something else. Okay, we'll sleep for now, and then once I get to a save point, we'll do the rest of them, because I don't want to have to do, like, all those over again. Okay, there's gotta be... Okay, so we've got... That we've got everything here. I don't see a save point anywhere. And I looked off... And I looked, or I looked around, too, and I didn't see, like, a, there needs to be a save point somewhere. Is there anything over here? No, there's nothing over here. Okay, I think we found everything we kind of can here. I don't think there's... I don't see anything else here. So we're going to make our way... Oh, I thought my game froze. Okay, we're going to make our way out of here. Back into the area here. We're going to find a, an actual save point. We're going to save and then maybe we'll come... Oh, maybe we'll come back. There needs to be an actual, like, save point somewhere. Oh, there is one. Oh, okay, there's one outside the city here. It should be, like, inside the city, too. <laughs> Okay. I'm gonna go back inside the city now. Fight a tough enemy with in order to beat it. Okay, we're gonna fight a tough enemy already. Might fight that like big old enemy. Like I think it was level fifteen, and I think we're both level four. Probably fight it. And we're gonna go back and do some of these uh, other, like some of this dialogue heavy stuff. Let me just get that out of the way. Okay. We save the game. Yeah, there's an inn over here. We'll sleep till daytime again. Yeah, we'll do six o'clock. Okay, we're gonna do a lot of dialogue heavy stuff here, it looks like. We kind of have to, though. Is but a scratch. What's with your chest? You keep touching it. I do. How about that? Oh, okay. Hopefully these aren't going to be that long, like this is, like I don't want these to be long. I don't mind suffering. I mind suffering going to waste. Now, where did I hear that? You're asking me? It sounds like some kind of famous quote from a historical figure. Does it ring a bell to you? It doesn't. Maybe you read it in one of your adventure novels. If that was the case, I would have remembered it. Every morning, this saying is the first thing that pops into my mind. In the morning, you say, it would be reasonable to think that you dreamed it. Can't say it's been a while since I last remembered one of my dreams. I don't mind suffering, I mind suffering going to waste. Sounds like a half-empty glass version of no pain, no gain. Oh, please. Not that one. Mom bashed our head so many times with it that I skipped a heartbeat every time I hear it. She's not wrong though. Pain isn't the only path to pain isn't the only path to progress. Hate leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Oh no, wait one. Let's see what I, which other paths are there. Hate leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. 
Heat leads to garbage. Oh, joy for starters. If you say so, Saint Ostia. I'll have you know that I'm very, that I'm the very embodiment of a pragmatist. A soldier's wreck. I gotta say, I've had several bodyguards in my travels, but this is the first time I've felt so safe. Because you're with your big bro. Don't get ahead of yourself. That matter hasn't been settled yet. Uh-huh. No, I feel safe with you because you're constantly on edge. On edge? You're constantly watching our surroundings. I don't think I ever let you... You ever let your guard down. Oh. I know why you think that. It's the creeping old naked guy technique. The what? Creepy old naked guy technique? I, I just don't. It's a combat technique, Celine. Every time you look at anything, a bush, a rock, a tree, an animal, you ask yourself, is there a creepy old naked guy lurking behind it? Is he going to jump out? What if he runs at us, cursing, swearing, and throwing handfuls of mud? I've got to be ready for that. I've got to be ready for anything. So, there. That's the secret. But... Wouldn't it work just as well if it was, you know, I don't know, the bloodthirsty monster technique? Oh, I tried the bloodthirsty monster technique. It's just not the same. Only creepy old naked guys put me really on edge. Ah, oh, the combat technique, you say? What kind of soldier would come up with that? The board kind. Oh, makes sense. Footsteps on the city floor. Wait, what? That doesn't make any sense. It's a strange feeling. Oh, it's a strange feeling waking up. It's a strange feeling walking up the streets and hearing people going on with their lives, talking, laughing, as if everything was normal. The world is on the verge of destruction and still they go about their lives as if it was no big deal. Are you resenting them for it? Why would I? I live their life if I could. It's just that I keep wondering. About what? If it's not too late already. I don't think these people are oblivious to what's coming. They know about the war, about the corrosion. Maybe they've already come to terms with the fact that either will take them. That maybe it's already too late. Maybe we're living our last, I don't know, weeks or months chasing a cure that doesn't exist at all. Maybe the Archolite are planning right now an all-out assault that would put an end to this war, or even Herion herself. I mean, are we even sure there's a cure to the corrosion at all? I don't know about that, but I know that it's never too late to do the right thing. What are even the odds that we'll find some cure? What if we fall? Then at least we'll be dying doing the right thing. It'll mean something about us as humans. We are the people as a whole, about the fact that we're doing something in spite of the odds. Is it the priest? Is it the priest speaking? No, it is merely me. I know that you've become jaded by the war. I don't know exactly what, to what extent, but I know that you agree with me. You wouldn't have deserted otherwise. Thank you. For what? Maybe I needed to hear this. You are welcome. Okay, so we have Celine. Okay, but I think we're done. With this kind of dialogue heavy part of the game. I wish these were all cutscenes though. Or at least voice acted. So how did you get into the Sanctorum? How did you get the Sanctorum to cut you loose? I can't imagine the elders releasing you from duty just because you told them that mom is sick. You're right, they wouldn't have let me if I'd asked, so I made them do it. You made them do it? Yes. Becoming what you could, could proverbially call a pain in the butt. Okay, now this sounds like a story. You have no idea. The moment I received news from Mom, I was operating as an archivist in Des... the Hostra. I wasn't especially fond of curing favors at the time. I knew that they would turn my request down. So instead of begging them I, to let me see my mom, I decided to become a grain of salt in their delicate machinery. How'd you do that? It's... 
I started doing my job if it was a matter of life and death with such a zeal and persistence that I slowly drove them to madness. Every time the elders would try to establish new edicts, I'd barge into their studies with tablets of much older laws and forgotten versions of the epigrams, showing them that every instance of the sacred text that would contradict the edicts, they were already pulling their hair off writing. As you can guess, I drove them up the wall once too many. So they decided to promote me to archivist, to midwife. Midwife? The midwife corpus is where they dump the person non grata. Priestesses and priests who are speaking their minds too freely at the discontents. But that was exactly what I was waiting for. I had been popular with the midwives for a long time, so when I eventually became one of theirs, they were overjoyed. He immediately elected me as their representative on the council ring. Which means that barely a week after my eviction, I was back in their study to drive the demands of the midwife corpus. When they saw me, the others just freaked out. They had thrown me out by the door only to see me come climb back in through the window. In the end, they eventually figured out the only way to be sure I wouldn't bother them anymore was to task me with the honor of finding a cure to the corrosion, which I had no choice but to accept. Was this some kind of reward or a punishment? There have been there have been some rumors running around that it's the worst mission they could ever give me, and it and that I would be mortified to be a such signed, such playerless mission. At this point, I'm not afraid to ask if you were the one who spread that rumor. Of course I was. This is your... Yeah, I know. I'm good. I'm speechless. A midwife, how about that? Want me to want me to tell you about it? I'll pass. Um, makes me remember that time when mom told us about the birds and the bees. And that precisely the memory I want to escape. Oh, so she has in her voice too. Okay, so... Okay, so that... So Celine, the midwife. I'm cooking around here. Mm. I'm gonna have to get some food after this. I'm getting real hungry all of a sudden. How come you were so popular with the midwives? <laughs> even if the corp, even if the corpus wasn't the place where the sanctorum shelved the discontents, the midwives were always shorthanded. So before they tried to evict me on this mission to find a cure. I came to lend them a hand from time to time. I saw mom helping give birth a few times, so I figured I could be of help. Of course they smiled when they saw me, a young archivist, barging in and lending a hand. They thought I wouldn't last more than a week, but as a matter of fact, I thrived. I was really good at it. Good, how so? I could get my way around pain. What do you mean? I know about pain and I know how to divert it. There's a trick, you see. Imagine you're suffering a lot. Hurting, it doesn't really begin to describe it. You're in such pain that you're oblivious to your surroundings. I think I can picture that. You see, out of all the still puppies, so calming the pain is not an option. Oh, what do you do? I take it, I guess. You can't just take it. You, you're a mother, and you're delivering a baby. Do you want me to describe everything in detail? Uh, I'm not sure I want to hear those things. That's where I come in. I pinch one of their nerves. It's really, so really sensitive. Oh, it's in some really sensitive place. It produces a sharper pain, the kind of pain that keeps telling, "Look over here." Stop looking at the big, bad, ugly pain that fills up the whole room. Look at me, here. Look at me, me, me. And it usually works. Pay more attention to that sharp, nagging, sneaky little pain. It's not so hard to bear. Instead of the huge barrel of boiling lava in the underbelly. Whoa, does it really work? I explain how it works beforehand. What do you take me for? Some kind of sadist? I don't know. Seems so convenient. Why doesn't anyone know that trick? I'll show you next time you're wounded. 
If I'm wounded, I hope you'll actually heal me. First, I'll show you the trick. Then, I will heal you. Oh, God. Oh, my. It's in her voice, too. Okay. I could I could have sworn I heard you talking to yourself the other day. Oh, did you hear that? You were praying or something. Something. <laughs> something like that. A true priestess of the sanctorum. Actually, once you enter the sanctorum, you lose the right to pray whenever you want. Lose the right to pray, really? You mean you can't even say a quick prayer, tell the gods a few things before you go to sleep? No, you have to go through the whole procedure if you want to pray. You start by writing down your prayer on a piece of paper. Then you have to turn it into a petition. Then get it signed off by a senior priest. Then obtain the seal of a councilman. And then only then can you go in front of an altar and recite it. Under surveillance, of course. That's ridiculous. Why? Two generations ago, the elders decreed that too many prayers would break the god's concentration the sanctorum elders to communicate with them properly they have to keep ambient noise to a minimum but of course the elders can pray to the gods whenever they want they know what's best why don't they forbid praying for the rest of the population mainly because profanes are inexperienced in the ways of magic they don't distract the gods much can't see them can't hear them that's crazy huh sanctorum sanctorum feels like a madhouse sometimes and so you were praying earlier Illegally, Selene, the renegade priestess. Huh, you might find it funny, but I could be sentenced to, to drag a boulder around for a few weeks with this. Oh, damn. You're pulling my leg now, Selene. Madhouse, Darian. Madhouse. Uh. Okay, we're done here. Oh, we gotta sleep. Let's sleep. We slept. Okay, now we can leave. And we'll save, and then we'll go try to knock out some of these quests now. Now that all the dialogue-heavy stuff is out of the way, thank god. <coughs> my <coughs> I think my throat's gonna be sore after this. <clears throat> Alright. And we'll save again, because I don't want to do all... Well, I'll just skip it again. It's not a big deal, but... All right, so we'll save here, and then we'll go look at the list of things we like need to kill. <sighs> and a tough enemy with cards stored in order to deplete its magic. Okay. Hmm. We have a couple quests here. Chest training hunts the last. Ooh, we had done. Okay. Hmm, interesting. Let's go to quests and see if there's any. Oh, there's a wow, okay, so maybe I should have done that a long time ago. Hmm. Does this do anything? Probably just talks to the guy again.
Okay, we're gonna go talk to... Now we're gonna go around and talk to some of these guys. I actually have seen it around here, so I don't know exactly where it's at. I've actually seen it around here. But this is probably like a special, special one, so we kind of have to... Ooh. Definitely needed that. You have for the dunny, huh? Tough luck. We'll be the ones to claim the reward. Huh? I will commend your soul to the gods. Is it going to blow up on me? Oh my god, I'm going to die. I think, okay, okay, oh god. Well, one of us is probably going to die. Um, oh no. Okay, yeah, back up. I gotta get Celine to back up. Or Celine's gonna. Okay. Um. Oh, <gasps> no! Fuck. I need to do Earth Rift. Hold on. Ah. I cannot allow myself to die here. Okay. A 
actually kind of bad. Oh, no, that was a bad idea. I think he's going to kill me. Oh, never mind. Ooh, that was scary. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff for that. Okay, so... Okay, we can bring the swords back to him. Let's go do that. Let's go do that. Because I think we get a badass sword from him. Yeah, because we get something from him if we do this. So that'll be really nice. save there we go okay well I can enter thank you I'm allowed to enter so back off Go we'll get our Dawnbreaker, our badass. This is going to be a nice looking sword, I bet. <laughs> Let's do that real quick. <sighs> I've been pressed. Well, Ooh, get tired. I'm going to have to end this stream soon. <clears throat> Anyways, I'm impressed, Thanker. You wore, you wore that Sanuva out. It was no challenge. I fought Arclight machines back then. To be honest, I've broken more swords than you can possibly forge. That's a nice alloy you come up with, but the crystals just weaken the whole blade. You smug little piece of ash. You should, you should know that I'm not some con blacksmith 
who senselessly churns half-baked blades for quick bucks. Quality is where I'm standing. Here, see that beauty on the rack? It's for you. Reward for your above-average performance. Should I thank you? No, please keep that soapy sentimentality to yourself. Take that blade and get out. But don't stray too far, okay? I might still need you in the future. I'm quite busy, to be honest. Hey, don't play that hard to get with me, thinker. Ooh. Ooh, Dawnbreaker. So do we have it? Oh, this is a nice sword. Oh. So already, yeah. Already this is like better than what we have. <laughs> yeah, 105, yeah. Like we get 37, yeah. That's like way better. Oh, buddy. We just got a glow up, boys. Oh, my. That's a nice sword you got there. Let's go save the game. Ooh, buddy. Okay. I'm liking this already. Very nice. Okay. Um. Equipment. Crystal. Okay, so... Yeah, because we can also, but we're not going to do that just yet. Um, let's just do plus one speed. Yeah, we'll do plus one speed. What do we have? Not really going to tell us. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll just keep that for now. All right. Got ourselves a brand new badass sword. I wish I like our characters like changed a little bit, but yeah, they kind of don't. All right, but we have this new badass sword to play with, so let's go. We'll save the game and then we'll go down and. This land is so crazy. Like, this game looks really good. And free this guy. Scene time. Soldiers, quite a lot of them. Calder is there, all right. Another prisoners. It's 
not just about Calder anymore. I can't just turn a blind eye. I gotta help them. Help them? And go against the whole garrison? If that's what it takes, yeah. But we are completely outnumbered. I won't fight them. Simply cause a distraction to allow the prisoners to flee. And you stay hidden, okay? I'm not going to compromise your reputation on this. If anyone sees you helping outlaws, you'll be excommunicated on the spot. Wait a second. Actually, I'm thinking of something a bit more cunning. Something in mind? Maybe. We have seen a lot of Orokus in this region. And I have a few ideas on how they might help us with this delicate mission. Delicate mission, Orokos. There's no way this could go wrong. But we have to find a big one first. You were a scout in the army, right? For a time, yes. Oh, I see what you mean. Yes, I'll find you some Oroko tracks. The biggest one you can find. Ooh, we got a plan. I can't answer that right now, damn you. I'm streaming. Okay, right, we can go this way. I might have to cut this stream short. Oh, I'm going to stop streaming here in a minute, but, uh. Hopefully I didn't mess up or anything. I was trying to do something, but I had to go. Okay. Ooh, this is really cool. Yeah, this is a really cool area. Okay. Answer arbiters. Oh, that's a feck load of them now. And though I need to kill a couple of them. That's way too many though. Unless I can get them like close. That's a lot of them though. I don't want to fight all of them. We need to kill like 10 of these things. Oh. We're going to fight them. If we die, we die. But we need to kill like... No, we need to kill. What is this, by the way? Okay, I'm gonna fight these on the side here. Oh, we're gonna die. I think I put off way more when I get true. If we have to, we can flee. It's not really a big deal, but. I hope they don't really attack her too much. No, 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 not did I no 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 she was almost Oh yeah, we're well, now we're gonna die. We gotta probably flee this. Damn it. Yeah, I think we're gonna die here. Come on, no! Attack me. Don't attack Selenia. There we go. Um, I think we're gonna flee here. Yeah, we're gonna flee. That's way too many. I die. That was just way too many enemies there. What is this though? Yeah, 
You know what? I'm gonna go save one more time. Yeah, that's a really lot. Yeah, I'm like... I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save one more time here. And I think we're gonna have to call this stream here. I've gotta go do some stuff. And we've almost been streaming for two hours, so that's a, that's a good stopping point. Let's save the game one more time here. All right, well, I hope everyone... Alrighty, everybody, I hope everyone liked the stream. I'm having my emotes are almost done, so I can't wait for that. That's gonna be really good, really exciting. Hopefully sometime next week things will slow down, and I want to do an affiliate celebration stream, like a 12 or 24 hour stream would be really amazing. So we'll see what happens, what's in store for next week. I'm supposed to get them hopefully by the 21st is when I'm supposed to get the emotes. I have four emotes. They're going to be really nice. They're going to be real worth it. I'll be definitely showing them off on my Twitter. So please follow me there and I'll show them off on stream two coming up. So you guys will like that and then there'll actually be something worth subscribing for. So I think with that though, guys, tomorrow is more AI The Somnium Files. Thursday and Friday we'll also be streaming. I hope you guys will be there for that. Other than that, have fun, have a great night everybody.